All right, so in this video, we're checking out a couple of new um, Express LRS all-in-one flight controller boards from Beta FPV. And uh, this one here is their 1S uh, WHOOP board with a built-in SPI Express LRS receiver. And I built my uh, pretty much standard pusher WHOOP style build here. And you see the board here is on the bottom with the, um, I guess they call it a ceramic antenna or SMD antenna. It's like this little short antenna uh, for saving weight and not having wires all over the place. So this is uh, this board is based off of an old board. This one here. This is a SPI receiver, but it's a D8 receiver, not a Express LRS, and it does weigh a little bit less than this one because it doesn't have the Express LRS components on there, but it's the same. Um, 5 amp ESCs, and this one weighs 3.8 grams. The board in here, uh, without obviously before I put it in, I took a picture of it, it weighs 4.3 grams, so it's a little bit heavier. And you have to um, uh, put your own video, uh, video transmitter on this one because it does not have a built in video transmitter. So in this build here, I'm using a TBS um, Pro 32 Nano. You can kind of see it there. Very tiny, I think it's like a gram, plus the antenna. Uh, 0802 motors, 22,000 kV, and I'm using the Fox here, um, Pico Razor. And I'm just using some uh, welder's glue to hold the camera in place, and that is actually surprisingly doing well. It's the first time I've tried that in one of these builds to uh, hold the camera in place, and it doesn't have any jello. Um, has gone through many crashes and still hanging in there because I think it's because it's pretty well protected. You can see pretty much wherever I crash, you have to hit it perfectly dead center with something kind of pointy. Otherwise the camera is not gonna get bumped. So it's working out pretty well. Nice low profile build of course here, 65 millimeters. It's just a Meteor 65 um, inverted. I did a video like, like a year ago. And how to do that so um, I'll link that in the video description but now yeah, now we have Express LRS it is a you know built-in SPI receiver not a separate receiver so it is built into beta flight so I'm going to do a video on that later if you have any questions regarding Express LRS SPI receivers how to update them configure them all that kind of stuff let me know what your questions are in the comments below um, yeah uh, I'm not sure when that video is gonna come up but any, any questions that come out I will try and address them in that video. But um, as you can see, the antenna is exposed in this setup here as a pusher. So I put this piece of foam here as a landing pad. And uh, even through a lot of crashes, it's been holding up pretty good. It hasn't come off yet. I think that ultimately you're probably, you know, basically this antenna is just held on by little blobs of solder onto the PCB. Uh, ultimately, you're going to probably want to put a little bit of epoxy on the, on the, corner there where it meets or the edge where it meets the board just to give it a little bit more strength maybe some hot glue might help if you don't want to use epoxy but just a small amount of epoxy will probably go a long way in keeping that antenna on there if it does get knocked off you can always just put on a wired antenna of course um, you know that's always a backup plan but yeah this is um, their built-in Express LRS uh, receiver on this board now they do have a one to two S board is coming out. Well, actually, it's already out for sale. I don't have it yet. I uh, should be getting it soon. Now they did have this board here. They call it a toothpick board with 12 amp BSCs and a built-in Express LRS receiver, but this one is not an SPI receiver. So this is a 12 amp BSC board, 1S. This is on the uh, HX115LR. It doesn't have, does not have a built-in video transmitter either. You can see the antenna and the antenna connector, the UFL. So they have, and then the USB-C in this one as well. So the, I, only, I only have seen a couple of pictures of the new board, which is a different style board. It's gonna be like the old 12 amp board here, like this. This is a more traditional shape for whoops instead of toothpicks. And I'm not sure if it's gonna have plugs or not. I don't think it, I don't think it has plugs. It might or might not, but the top of the board looks pretty similar to this. And I think they're going back to the standard micro USB vertical USB port like that. It's gonna look pretty similar to this one, but it'll have a 12 amp um, uh, ESCs 
one to two S only and uh, does not come with the built-in video transfer, but does come with built-in Express LRS receiver. But in this case, it's going to be an SPI receiver, not a, uh, a receiver that takes up a UART. So on this board here, it has a built-in Express LRS receiver, but it takes up a UART. Whereas on the ones with SPI, it does not take up a UART. So that can be important for those of you guys that are, you know, um, have a lot of components, GPS, that kind of things. Uh, you want to install in your lightweight builds. This is the new one that's going to be coming out. It's going to look kind of like this, and it'll be 12 amps and uh, with a built-in SPI Express LRS receiver. So I'll have a video on that once I put that into a build. I don't expect it to be all the different in terms of performance. It's 12 amp BSC, and of course it's a built-in Express LRS receiver. So you're going to have similar performance to all the other ones that we've seen before that have a built-in receiver. So for example, here is the Happy Model um, Express LRS board. And you saw a video in this one already. It comes in the Mobula 6 Express LRS edition. Obviously it comes with that same antenna. But this one here comes with a built-in video transmitter. It goes up to 200 milliwatts. So if you're okay with 200 milliwatts, then this is a pretty good option because it's only five grams, as you see here, like this. But it's only 1S, not 1 to 2S. 1S only. Built-in Express LRS SPI receiver, built-in video transmitter, 4-in-1 uh, ESC, and flight controller all in one and it's five grams for this. And you've seen this in the Mobula 6 Express LRS edition. But if you want a video transmitter that goes over 200 milliwatts, like the TBS Pro 32 Nano here, that goes up to 500 milliwatts, then having the option of a separate board with just the receiver like this and, and, and make your own video transmitter is a good option. So, you know, it's good that there's a lot of different options out there for different kinds of builds that you might want to do. Uh, if you want to have a uh, video transmitter that's more than 200 milliwatts you go in the external one with a little bit more weight of course and then you probably want to go with a board like this but if you're okay with 200 milliwatt video transmitter then something like this will be fine as well so kind of really kind of depends on which way you want to go now regarding the range on these um, express LRS receivers with these uh, SMD antennas I think I've talked about this in several of the videos before but I know that's going to be a common question here, and um, I'm sure you don't want to go back and watch my 10 of the videos about this. Essentially, it's reduced range compared to a, a full dipole antenna that you're going to have on something like this. This is going to give you full range. Obviously, your antenna placement is going to be critical. So if you have very poor antenna placement or you just do something really dumb with it, you don't expect to get very good range. That's kind of a given. But for something like this, it's going to be way better than any kind of D8 receiver, or especially like the you know, built-in SPID uh, D8 receivers. If you think that I'm incorrect about that, please uh, enlighten us in the comments below. I have actually had some people tell me that D8 receivers are better than Express LRS, but have not given me any reason why. <laughs> Just that they think it is better and they're right and I'm wrong. But uh, no, no explanation. But if you have an explanation, let me know. I'm really curious to see why you think that is. Um, I don't believe that at all, but there are some people out there, you know, that believe that D8 receivers are better than Express LRS. Maybe they believe the Earth is flat as well. Who knows? Anyway, links to the uh, two flight controllers, the new two new ones from Beta Fever, will be linked down in the video description if you want to check it out. Let me know if you have any questions, and I'll talk to you guys in the next video.